Love is what ultimately most people are searching for when they go try to make a million or a billion dollars. Love is ultimately what we're seeking for when we go chase the partner of our dreams or we're sitting at home alone. So why is it that so many people have so much stress or loneliness or unhappiness or unfulfillment when it comes to something that all of us want and should therefore really make it a priority to master? And it's really because so many people do the wrong strategies on how to get love. So let me share with you what I think is the number one strategy on how not to get love. You see, most people try to get love by giving some of their own away for it. And it's, it's kind of like a, a horse trade. It's like, hey, listen, if I'm really nice to you, please be nice to me back. If I try and love you, will you love me back? And that sets up uh, a real shortfall and a real unmet expectation uh, heading for, for pain because there's a few things wrong with that. Firstly, we have no right to expect anything from anybody else, period. You know, slavery was abolished many years ago. You know, we have no right over who should or shouldn't love us. You know, that's just, I'm sorry, whether you think you sign a piece of paper to tell somebody that they have to love you for the next, you know, rest of their life. You know, how's that working in society? You know, if you're coming from, please give me love because I need it, then I've got news for you. You cannot love that which you need because you're going to need that. It's going to set up fear of loss. It's going to set up codependency and all of the dysfunction that we see in so many relationships today. So you know, how do you do it? Well, unfortunately, most people don't have the amount of love to be able to give it from the place that you can only give it from if you're trying to give love to get love. And that, my friends, is from your overflow. Once you're at 10 out of 10, anything over that you can give to other people because then you're not looking for it to come back. Have you ever noticed that you know, when somebody you're not in love with does something that doesn't fit your pictures, it kind of gets you going the wrong way. But if you fall in love with somebody, everything becomes perfect about them, does it not? It's this magical love potion where they can't do anything wrong and all of their little idiosyncrasies and discretions is okay. So you know, if we fall in love with ourselves, what happens? Well, all of that low score, two, three out of ten, starts to rise because now if we're falling in love with ourselves, all of the imperfections which allowed us to criticize ourselves and put that score down start to disappear.